Anglia is a very agricultural part of the country. And in particular, Essex, very good for arable farming, and Colchester, the Colchester Rose Show. But now for something a little bit different, the Fuchsia Show here at Stanway Village Hall. Barbara Price Trasley is Chairman and Secretary of the Colchester Fuchsia Society. Barbara, do tell me about fuchsias. Where do they come from? Mainly from Central and South America and some from New Zealand. And they like the cloud forest where it's nice and damp and misty. So we do have problems here because this is the driest part of the country, isn't it? Uh, when were they discovered and who discovered them? Back in the 1700s, a father Plumier discovered them and he named them after a very uh, ancient botanist called Leonard Fuchs in Germany. So from Fuchs to Fuchsias, although they do say we should call them Fuchsias now. <laughs> Barbara, why do they do so well though in this part of the world? Do they have to be very carefully tended? Up to a certain extent, yes. So they do want a moist condition and they white fly loves them, green fly loves them, red spider loves them. So it's really devotees, you know. How many different varieties are there? I don't know how many on the market, but listed are over 10,000. And do they always come in the mauves and, and, and greens and, no, and yellows? No. Well, there's no yellow as such, but you get white and pink, all white, all pink. You don't get mauve petals, you only get mauve corollas. But, um, you know, there's a wide variety. Are they easy to grow? When you don't know how to grow them, yes. As soon as you start going into it, it becomes difficult. What about the winter months? Do they need tendering and looking after? Yes, there are ways you can keep them without a greenhouse, but it's always an advantage if you have a greenhouse and a little bit of heat. But anybody who comes to us for help, we can help them, give them advice as to how to overwinter them. They don't exactly grow from seed, though, do they? Yes, you can grow from seeds, and we have got a seedling class there of people who have grown them from seed. Sometimes it's just a seed pod that develops, and you don't really know the parentage, but a lot of them they do know, and they deliberately cross them. And this is how you get some that you call sports, when you suddenly get an ordinary plant grows a branch that's a different kind of fuchsia or foliage. But all of these have been grown from seed originally. Do you have to clip them back at season's end? Yes, yes, you cut them back in October and defoliate them and you repot them because there's a nasty little thing round here called vine weevil whose favourite meal is fuchsia roots. So you repot them in October, get rid of the old soil, so any eggs or grubs go. What about the Fuchsia Society? How strong? How many people? We've got about 120 members. Um, it's been on the go since 1976. Our present president, Penny Brown, was the first 
secretary of the society. It was quite small then, but we do keep around about 120 members, and they're all quite keen because we get between 70 and 80 turn up at the meetings each month. What sort of prizes are there on offer today on the different classes, Barbara? Well, we give a two, two pounds first prize, one pound second, and 50 pence third, but we've also got a number of cups for the classes. We've got British Future Society bronze medal, and we've got silver spoons from the British Future Society. Where else do you exhibit, apart from your own show? Well, I hope to exhibit at the London British Future Show and at Phoenix Show. But members do show at Sudbury, but unfortunately I was working at the Copford Show last week, so that clashed. And the East Anglian Future Fellowship have a show in three weeks' time in Ipswich, and I hope to show there. I notice they've all got their own names, all the varieties. Yes, named after some after people, some after areas, you know, all sorts of funny reasons for names. If anybody's interested, where can they make contact with you? Well, they can um, come along on the first Thursday in each month. We have a 12 meetings a year to the Tollgate Hall uh, on this complex where the Samway Village Hall is at 7.30 and they'll be made most welcome. Hidden away on one of the sales stands, Secretary June Deering. June, how long has this particular show taken to organise? Since last year, really. Yes, once as ever we finish one show, we start off and do another one again, I'm afraid. Who have been the judges today? Carol Googler. She comes from um, Surrey, and she's actually just brought out a new book and uh, she just brought a limited edition for us today but we're ordering some for the club and we put an order in for the club for what us. do they cost uh, five pounds 4.99 actually and it's called growing fuchsias yes. now you've got other sales things on the table the future album volumes one and two are these from times past um, yes, we have these on a sales or return basis, and uh, this is the second order we've had. They're going quite well, actually. Yeah. Something that uh, uh, interested me was these bonsai fuchsias. Are they fairly new? Yes, yes, they are fairly new. Yes, we've. Uh, it's only last year that we had a class for them, and um, our members are quite interested, as it's a small pop culture, really, and uh, they're a lot less uh, um, difficult to bring along than those great big baskets and things, you know. Are they hybrids, uh, specially made? No, no they're not, they're just, um, you need to have a small flower, you need to have a small flowering variety, and uh, then you have to cut the roots and do all sorts of funny things with them and perhaps wire them and to get the right shape and things. So they take a, a year or two really to sort of get into shape, but they're quite interesting and the general public like them really, you know, they find them quite interesting. So. Well apart from your bookstore, what else is on? So you've got refreshments, haven't you? Yes, we've got refreshments and um, we've got the um, gardener's dip, which um, is going down very rapidly now. People have won a lot of fuchsias and things like that, so uh, they're quite happy, I think, the general public of how it's been going, really. Yeah.